So those were your basic mini game modes. Now the more interesting modes. Battle mode. Oh, so no. there's been a battle mode in like all of the the things so far. Yeah. You set up a uh, a competition of like a certain number of wins with um, mini games of a particular type. You can do three, five, or seven game match win match. And then you pick the type of game, four player or 1v3 or 2v2 or battle. And then it'll pick a random game of that category and you'll compete and whoever wins the game gets a point. So it picks the game and you can look at the rules if you want. If you choose that you're not ready, then it just gives you the option to quit out. <laughs> so that's a little weird. Whoever wins the minigame, when it comes back, they get a little mark in their scorecard here. <laughs> you know, a little mark in your scorecard. Yay. Now we'll um, pick a minigame. And it you know, moves on to the next random game. And if there's ever a draw, well, okay, uh, whoever gets the, the all of the fills their scorecard first is the winner. And that's the battle there. You're the um, superstar. If there is ever a draw in a game, then all players who won will earn a star. Uh, this is also... It's its entirely possible in the, um... In the games where... They're the, the, the bonus games where you're just collecting coins. If everybody collects the same number of coins, everybody wins and everybody gets a point on their scorecard here. So, uh, if nobody wins, then nobody gets a point. If it's a, a, a type of game where a draw means everyone is sad... So you see here, yeah, uh, both teams here got two coins, so everybody wins. Oh. And everybody gets a point. And this is what the scorecard looks like in a 1v3. Oh. So... You just... Everybody is the winner. Uh, at the end of the match, if more than one player has filled their scorecard at the same time, then they're all winners. <laughs> That's disappointing for Luigi. That's the battle mode. It's pretty simple. It's not it's that exciting. Compete. Tic-tac-toe mode. It's a variation of the battle mode. Oh. Where you're playing tic-tac-toe. And it's specifically 2v2. So, uh, you've, you've set up your players and you pick a team, it's, it's 2v2. And you've got a tic-tac-toe board, and each team picks a space on the tic-tac-toe board. And then you do a minigame, and it randomly picks a 2v2 minigame. And then, you know, whoever wins the minigame... They get to mark the space that they picked. Uh -huh. And the other team does not. So the goal is to get tic-tac-toes, to get the three in a row. And whichever team gets the, the three in a row first is the winner. And if there is a draw, then neither team gets to uh, to make their mark. Okay. And it just kind of moves on. So, here's what it looks like when you get the tic-tac-toe. You get it. They're the winners. <laughs> and if you fill up the board entirely, and it's, uh, nobody's gotten the three in a row, then whoever has the most spaces filled in wins. Oh. So... So, okay. there, there is no, like, hard draw in this mode. That's tic-tac-toe mode. And we're done with the the, the different play minigames modes. Good. Now, other things in the minigame room. No! You've got a list. You can just look at a list of minigames. Why? Just to look at the list. This will let you see any games that you have not unlocked. It will show up as question marks, so you can see, like, what things you maybe need to try to get or something. But you could have done that on any of the I other know, lists. I know, you could have. It's it's here, it's list. You can make a list. You can look at the list. You can check it twice, I guess. Custom lets you make a custom minigame list set. 
Uh, so you know when you're doing the, uh, when you're starting up a, a party in the, the party mode or in story mode, you get the option to pick all mini games or easy mini games. You can also set up a custom list of mini games, and then you will have the option to pick custom in that set. And and it it has to be uh, you have to pick a, a minimum number of games of each category to you know be able to to make it work. But um, you set up a list, and once you've got it set up, then you can go to these other modes, and you get custom there. And oh. then you can, so you can only play the games that you want to play. That's... Okay. And then here's the, the records. You can look at the, okay. the records for the six mini games that have high score records that it keeps. Is that important? Yes, it is, because each of those six mini games has an unlockable present associated with it. Oh, for no. getting a certain score. But, uh... That's it... For mini game room. That's it for the mini game room. Okay. So let's look at the options room. We kind of skipped over this because there's not really much in the way of options for this game, but you could you can set options, and I mean there there's always things. It's a room in the queue that you can see. It's run by the Koopa. Koopa runs the option room. It's all okay. relaxed. Here you get, this is your rumble setting. You can turn the lever from on to off to make the controller be rumble or not rumble. It's this little GameCube machine. Uh, here's your, your sound test where you can listen to the different sounds. Uh, you can set stereo or mono sound. Uh, unlike Mario Party 3, you do not get the option for Dolby surround sound. Mm. Or no, uh, what's it? It was Luigi's Mansion that had that, not Mario Party 3. Something had Dolby Surround Sound. Anyway, then to the other option here is you can play the musics. There's all of the music tracks in the game you can listen to. and uh, I'm going to have a, a video where I show all of these off at the end as a bonus, because why the hell not? And you can also do the different voices. All of the characters' voices. Uh, Warcry there is what they do when they get, uh, when they put on the Bowser suit. Ah. And there's all the different guide characters. And Bowser sad. Bowser. And uh, various others that make noises sometimes. Various others. And the minigame voice. Minigame voice. So ah, that's, yes. That's all, that's your sounds. Do you have sounds? My favorite voice actor, minigame. And you can look at various records. You can look at... Records for boards or records for mini games. Mm. So you can see how many times you've played each board. It goes up to four digits. Please, God, no. <laughs> and uh, how many times each character has won the boards. You can see uh, for for each of the boards, each of the characters has won once because I played in story with each of them once. Okay. Uh, the largest number of coins anybody had at one time on the board, the largest number of stars anybody had at one time on the board. Uh, for a couple of them, there's, um, a few of the numbers are different because I also played party mode a few times and, mm. you know, it shows total wins for each character and the minigame records are exactly the same records that you see in the minigame room, just it's also in, in this spot in the options room. It's not really and an option then, is it? No, that's, that's the entirety of the options room. It's, it's pretty small. 